Well, good Sunday morning and welcome back to another one. It's a cold day here in southwestern Ontario. I'm not sure where you're watching from. But here it's minus five. Do not let that sunshine fool you. It is cold. Minus five, minus six. I don't think it matters, but we're going to start our day with coffee. Today we're going to have Mountain Gems Roasted in Canada Coffee. This video is not about coffee. This video is about heat. Kind of fitting for minus six, minus five, minus seven. It's minus something. Let's make a coffee. We're going to head out to the shed. I got something to show you. <laughs> Trying to get that shot. I just spilled it all over the floor. Don't tell Jenny. Just don't. Don't say a word. Better get that cleaned up. Hey, we're talking heat. Oh, she's cold. And there's no heat. Well, I shouldn't say there's no heat out here. I do have a kerosene heater, but the wick went out in it. Before that, though, it's video is not sponsored by the coffee. I bought that coffee. I'll leave a link to their website down below. It's javaworks.ca, I believe it is, but it'll be down below. Not sponsored. Anyway, we're talking about secondary heat. Now, I'm not going to get into politics on my channel. I don't do that. And uh, I avoid that at all costs. However, if the power happens to go out, your furnace goes out, which means you need secondary heat. That's how I sold it to her. Keep in mind, you also know a duck hunt. In the duck blind, this is key for staying warm. We bought a Mr. Buddy heater. Now, again, it, this is not sponsored either. I paid $167 for this at Home Hardware here in my hometown. I bought it for her for Christmas. I thought it was a practical gift. Um, I have no doubt she saw through that and uh, knows full well that this will end up in the duck blind. Nevertheless, it's a secondary heat source. Now, this is not meant for indoor use, okay? It's meant for outdoor. I'm not recommending that you use this indoors. I will use it here in the shop because it would be a good heat source. Plus, I have plenty of ventilation with uh, the rafters missing. So, you know, I got plenty of ventilation. I'm not worried about falling over from carbon monoxide if you do choose to use this in the house and that is totally on you um, I would have a carbon monoxide detector close by you don't want to go to sleep and not wake up anyway we're gonna unbox this we're gonna open it up we're gonna unbox this take it all out and uh, hook it up with the one pound propane bottle which I have a ton of those we're gonna see how it works Let's see what we have. Now them one pound propane bottles here in Ontario, uh, they used to be about $9 for two. Now you're paying about $15 for two. Just like everything else, it goes up. Let's see if we can get this out here without breaking it. Don't need that. There we go. One Mr. Buddy propane heater. Any self-respecting male, you're not going to read the instructions. If you are going to read them, it's off camera. I'm not reading them. All right, here we go. So one thing is, it is made of. Well, this is metal. This seems to be. Yeah. That's metal as well. I like the handle. 
you've got your uh, offsetting low and high propane screws onto the side here Well, that must be fine thread. Come on now. Let's go have lunch. Okay, so that's tight. And then it tucks inside. All right, not sure if you can read that or not. It says push knob to ignite pilot. After lit, hold for 30 seconds and release the knob to desired setting. So we have the, again, we have the off the pilot, the low, and the high. So we're going to push it to pilot. Okay, so when you get to pilot, you push it. You see it going there? It's going to hold for 30 seconds, it says. All right, then you turn it to your desired setting. And there we go. So that is on low. Turn it over to high. We'll see what happens. That feels good already. Now while that uh, warms up a little bit, I don't recommend laying it on a pile of sawdust. My floor is covered in sawdust. I've been doing some woodworking. I don't recommend laying it in a pile of sawdust because, well, that's a self-correcting error, shall we say. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. On the low setting, it says that one pound bottle will last about five hours to six hours. On the high setting, it'll last two and a half to three hours. That is a lot of heat coming out of there. And you see the... Uh, I'm assuming that's a ceramic finish right there in the middle that's going to hold the heat. That is starting to turn bright orange. So, was this a good Christmas purchase? I think so. Should she be excited about this? I think so. I think one trip to the duck blind in minus 25 at 5.30 a.m. She'll be happy that I went and bought this. Do you all agree? Leave me a comment down below. It's not rated for in the house. And I don't recommend using it in the house. If you found yourself in a crisis situation and you needed the heat, would I would I use it in the house? Absolutely, but I would also take precautions. Uh, it says on here, uh, 4,000 to 9,000 BTU. Uh, easy grip handle, low and high heat setting. We discussed that already. The heavy duty guard, heavy duty design. And again, runs on the one pound propane bottle. And you can see there that that is now glowing bright orange. These have become quite popular over the years. There's some smaller ones. There's also a bigger one than this here. But I didn't want to go too big because when I'm carrying this out to, or when I'm carrying this out to the blind, I'm not going to carry this to the blind. It's not for duck hunting. If I need this in a crisis situation, it's small. I can fire it up, we can gather around, get warm. And yes, it was $167, and yes, that is a lot of money. But I don't want to freeze. I don't want anybody else to freeze. So would I recommend a Mr. Buddy heater? Yes. It smells a lot better than the kerosene does. And I can't wait to take... I'm not taking it to the blind. Hope we don't have to use it. Let's put... Yeah, there we go. Hope we don't have to use it. But it is a good peace of mind that we have it. It's better to be prepared than not prepared. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. The Mr. Buddy Heater Review. It's an easy setup. No instructions needed. Um, I chucked them over there on the floor for real. And the coffee, well, that goes without saying. My guess is these things are going to start going quick because of the hydro issues going on, not only in Canada, but all over the world. And uh, people are going to want to stay warm. I wonder if I can get a marshmallow in there. 
Try to get a small one to go right in between there. Stay warm, folks. See you in the next one. Oh, subscribe while you're here. Want to have you along? Want to have you along? No, we'd love to have you along. Later. Okay, so I have turned this off. Move it aside. And it's not even warm where it was sitting. Which is a good thing.